I've ever done a MILF stuff. <laughs> Does any, anybody know what a MILF is? Do you know what a MILF is? Yeah. Do you know what a fucking MILF is? Do you? What? What is a MILF? Mum, I'd like to fuck. Who said that? <coughs> Mum, I'd like to fuck. <laughs> yeah? Is that what it means? Yeah. MILF. Well, that's not, that's a MILTIF. Because it's mum, I'd like <laughs> to fuck, right? So that's a miltiffer, isn't it, really? What about a gilf? Do you know what a gilf is? Gilf? Gilf? A gilf. Eh? <laughs> well, not fucking far off the fucking answer, eh? <laughs> a granny I'd like to fist. She loves it, mate. Both fucking arms, mate. They get like that when they get old. Well, I'm in, I'm not. What about a good gilf? Ah, great grandma, I'd like to fish. <laughs> hey? What do you mean, ugh? Uh. What do you think your granny does when you go out? Hey? I'm fucking round there, mate. <laughs> Anal fisting. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking head in there, I think that's a bit sick. You can't do that. I do lubricate my arm, though. Get a fucking butter on there, mate. <laughs> what about a MILF? Mermaid, I'd like to fill it. 36, 22, and 50 pence a pound. <laughs> well, I'm bit, uh, all right, fuck it. <laughs> Moving on swiftly. I haven't got any material. I've got new material. I can't think of any. No, 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 no. We use the old stuff. The old stuff works. Right. My babs. He loves babs. He's heard this one. Babs. My babs. My Mrs. Babs. She loves a bunk up. Right. She loves sex. She loves, you know. She... Even at our age, I'll take a few fucking Viagra. Well, no, I don't use Viagra because it's not very good for you. Not good for the liver. I, I, I go for the, I go for the, um, in the health shop, and they do these big green bastards. You take one of them, and you can go all night, right? Well, Babs loves it. She fuck, I fuck the granny out of her all night. Like, bash, bash, bash. <laughs> loves it. She fucking loves it. But what she does, after she's come, she lights up a cigarette. Well, I don't smoke. What, you know, and it's bad for you smoking, isn't it? You know, do you smoke? No. And who smokes in here? Well, one, we go. Is that, wasn't it you? Who was it? Dean? Was it Roberts? And so there's one smoker in here, so we know that smoking's bad. So what I've done to stop her smoking, I've gone on the computer, I've sourced, I've gone on the computer, Google, boop, boop, and I've sourced these Nicorette flavoured condoms, right? <laughs> so I'm on 21 blowjobs a day, and she's given up sex. <laughs> no. That's not the fucking punchline. <laughs> <laughs> what is the punchline? Yes. She stopped smoking. She stopped smoking! And I'm on 21 blowjobs a day. It happens to Alzheimer's. <laughs> Alzheimer's. It, it, it happens to the ages. Right? I was sexually abused by my... When I was younger. I was sexually abused. He was oh, oh. That's right. Yeah, but it was alright though. I don't know. Don't pity me. Don't pity me. It was alright. I've come out of the bathroom, naked, 11 years old, he looks terrified now, what's he going to say next, you haven't got... <laughs> I've come out of the bathroom, I'm going to act this out now. Those of you with a weak disposition, what you have to do though, if you, if you don't like stuff like this, just put your fingers in your ears and go, no, 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 all right? <laughs> right? But, so I've walked out of the bathroom, 11 years old, and then, all of a sudden, my dog Dino come padding over, and he 
and he licked my bollocks <laughs> and my cock and it was lovely. <laughs> Straight away. His little fucking tongue. <laughs> I didn't stop, I just started stroking his head. <laughs> right? It must have been a fish paste I put on the end of my knob just to lure him in. But no, but where can an 11 year old boy, you know, get his cock and bollocks licked? Oh, wow. I could have asked my sister, but she would have wanted half my pocket money. <laughs> Last joke of that. Oh, you want bags? All right, right, bags, all right. Last, I'm going to finish this. But have I got time to... Right, anal. Have I got time for anal? Right, anal. We're going to talk about anal. It's, I, was, I was told by, by, by my comedy mentor, he said, read the audience. You know. Or if you're fucking, you know, Muslim. Oh, that's Chinese, isn't it? Or if you're Jewish. But anyway, and I wasn't going to do filth tonight, but I've just, re you know, regressed. So I'm going to talk about anal sex, right? There I was. 50 years old. Never had anal. Who's had anal here? Ah, oh, oh, pardon? Are they... Was it you? Did you say that? <laughs> who, who, who said that? Oh, fantastic. Well, you're the only one in the room, apparently. <laughs> What do you say? You know, I went out with Babs, we was going out together. Been going out together for about three months, missionary position, doggy style, you know, I made a quick blowjob in the car park, all that bollocks, right? But I started fascinating. I started I started fretting, I started fantasizing. It, it, it was I was obsessing about anal sex, because I seen it on the pool, right? And I thought that looks good. And, and I fucking and I wanted to do it. I wanted to be a bit whirr and a bit woo. -woo. Be out there with it, you know. I mean, you know, I wanted to fucking do it. I did, honestly, you know. But what do you say? What did I? What do I say to bags? What, what do I say? I say, oh darling, do you take it up the shitter? No, no, you don't. So and I was really fretting about it. I prayed. I actually said, dear God, you know, what should I say? And, and God told me to speak to my therapist. He said, go and see your therapist. The doctor, Dr. French, so I've rung him up, I said, Doctor, Doctor, um, what should I, you know, like, I want to have anal sex with my <coughs> girlfriend Barbara, and what should I do? He said, well, Andrew, you must just ring her up and tell her and state your needs, tell her what you want and see what happens. So I did. <coughs> so I rung her up. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Phone picks up the other end. I go, perhaps, is that you? She goes, yes, Andy, yes, that's me. I said, Barbara, I'm not sweating. I was fucking sweating. I was shitting me fucking time. I said, perhaps, um, is there any chance of any anal sex? She goes, You could hear a pin drop. It went so quiet down the end with the fear in my gut that she was going to leave me, tell me, if I can't, all that, you know what I mean? I said, oh, I shouldn't have asked, I shouldn't have asked. And she goes, yes, Andy, because it's you, and I love you, and you've got a small cock. The anal's on a Saturday, right? So I oh, can't fucking believe it, look at he's mesmerised. So it's on a Saturday. So I fucking ate her, yeah, blind it, I've done it, I've cracked it. <laughs> Gonna get a bit of that, mate, on Saturday, I know. Be really tight, you know what I mean? Fucking, I can't wait. I've gone round there Saturday, knocked on the door. She's opened the door, and... She's got a little thong on, just all thonged out. Right, crystal, hanging out there like that. I'm fucking in there. She's ripped me clothes. I get the Vaseline out. Fuck 
fucking fuck oh, 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 oh. She go, oh, go on, big boy. I thought you said I was a small cock. Oh, you fucking bad fucking. Oh, I am. Oh, not a good sight, is it? I don't even know what I'd do it without her, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. oh, steady on. I'm too fucking old for this lot. <laughs> and I've finished. you wish for, because what you might end up with is a baked bean and a piece of bacon rind on the end of your knob, ladies and gentlemen. So, it ain't all it's cracked up to be that anal. Anyway, thank you. I've been Andy Lovecock. Thank you very much.